All right, we're back. It's been a while since we did this. And I, I, it, it is. I took a second, but I did all of Skyward Sword between the last stream of and, this. And a, and a randomizer. Uh, a lot has happened. Uh, I, I took a second before we started to check what we were doing last time. So last time we, uh, we left the airport city. We went to the right, and you fought rival dude with his, his stupid water monkey. Yeah. Um... And we're about to enter a cave, so that's where we left off. Oh god, the, the fucking... So, last time it was spring. I guess it's still spring. Yeah, thank you. I was good. <laughs> oh, I'm guessing it'll be spring when I... Oh, sorry. No, it's not a cave. It's a crater. Oh, uh, oh. They, did a meteor land there? And then alien Pokemon... Too. I get maybe. An alien Pokemon. Oh, I gotta heal first before I enter the cave. Damn it. I really wish I had fucking a, 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 a Do you not have I fly? don't think I have fly. If I had fly, I would have used it by now. Do I not I don't do I have fly? Does one of you know how to fly? You have that could use it. Nobody. Uh yeah, none of them are capable of flight. I mean Clank can, but that's different that's limitation. That's different. What are you doing? Hold on. What was the What was the last thing we streamed? Um, the the, the last thing you streamed was Crash. I think. Is it desynced? It is desynced. <laughs> oh wow. Glad thing I checked. Good thing I checked that. Gonna have to do it in post. No, I can't do no, anything can't about do it in post. It's just gonna be a weird first minute. <laughs> anyway. In the first minute, we were desynced. Don't worry, it's, it's it's a feature. Okay, we're is this is this the the healing house? Oh, there is a healing house. Healing house, heal me. Thank you. Uh, so, oh, it's summer now. No, it's, no, it's autumn. autumn. Sorry. <laughs> Why didn't this feature come back? Because it's... It, it, yeah, this is the, this is the opposite uh, Planetos. Uh, the, uh, the the seasons just go by like like a week. Like one week, it's like a season. Farm, farmers, farmers have the best job in the world because they only have to work two days, two weeks out of the month. <laughs> it's just two weeks of hard work and they sell their shit and... Wait, so do the pl do crops grow really fast? Yeah, the, the, you know, because because the environment seems fine, which means that they adapted. <clears throat> Give me a moment. I gotta take a drink of water, then I'll then I'll continue on my theory. Oh, that hurt. On ground, ground is strong against rock. Uh. So the plants, uh, like, are, are obviously they still exist despite the weather being all fucked up in this region, if not the entire world. So, which means that, that the plants have adapted to the weird like weather situation, which means they grow fast as a matter of necessity for survival. Because the ones that don't grow fast, they won't survive like the winter and and autumn seasons. Natural selection at its best, um, as well as the Pokemon being able to adapt like that. Uh, and then it's is a weird world where uh, every so often Christmas takes place uh, uh, in the summer. Okay. Yeah, when, when we celebrate the rebirth of our uh, our Lord and Savior Arceus. And then Thanksgiving can sometimes be. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I am immediately eating shit. I probably should have gone to the healing house. That's what I should have done. Probably. I can't use Brave Bird. No, unfortunately. Okay, well there goes all of my shit. Oh wow, you're still alive. Is that all you got? You brought a spoon to a spork fight. Oh, crunch could have worked. This dark type. Oh well. Oh, Clank was uh. 
Okay. Girder fighting type Pokemon. Uh, oh, I have. Oh, Crook's Dark. He can, he can take care of that. Uh, dark Why is Crook fighting? Oh, yeah, you're right. Shit. I always get that mixed around. And fighting. Psy oh, I have Psychic. Uh, God, I'm gonna have to go through a cave again. Yeah, find find your power animal and get to the cave. Why are there Slide. so many just like long stretches of nothing between towns in this game? Cause the cause the wildlife's dangerous and shit. They they to put gas stations, but the girders keep like taking apart their metal and building their pokey huts. I don't have a flyer either. Were we supposed to get fly before now? I pretty yeah, we we have it. I think I just do, I just don't have a Pokemon that can use it. I it, yeah. Oh, I'll be. You right conquered back. a B-list map. Oh, you you'll be right back. Are you okay? What's going on? Uh, I am alone. I am carrying. I'm in a cave. Oh, it's uh Yeah, it's just because we haven't streamed in so long, I'm a little paranoid. I wanted to check the uh audio levels. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> No, it seems fine. Twist Mountain. Uh, can I do... Maybe someone can learn fly. Maybe I can teach it on the fly. On the fly, fly. I got I got gotcha. you. I thought he was going to get us all involved in that bother again, so I was bracing myself before I knew it. Mm. Uh... I can teach... I can teach my... Either of my dragons to fly. What is fly? Can I teach... What is... A 60 yes. power move. What does it mean to fly? But why does Shatner? Why I, does I, I always confuse Shatner with the character he plays. Why does Kirk fly? Kirk is flying. They're just they're just uh, in synonymous. the sky. Why is he flying in the sky? Okay, can I, I can teach nobody fly. N none of these creatures have the ability to fly, probably because they're not birds. I said You said what to uh you said what to me, Zach? Well I can replace Hurricane, I guess. That's not necessary. Oh this this looks how many escape ropes do I have? Oh, I have a person with dig. I don't need an escape rope. Yeah, like I said, we just got through a cave. And we're in another cave. Oh, Wait, this what? is Twist Mountain. In the winter, it cha the appearance changes, and then I feel a sense of relief. Is there any point where it's just, like, flooded, and we can just, like, swim across, maybe? You know what this reminds me of? And this is not a good thing. This reminds me of, uh, of that one, uh... Five Mole Brothers uh, hole in uh, in Earthbound. Yeah, that's not a good thing. I hated that fucking Just like dungeon maze, slash like, cave series of tunnels. There, yeah, wasn't it like a hide and seek game for all the moles or something? You have to fight the third strongest. I just taught Lum to fly, by the way. Oh, cool! When I, I just taught by Lum to fly. You know, she she needs to learn how to fly. Like, it, it, the Onis don't know how to do that immediately. Also, I guess not all of them can do it because, like, Ray uses a jetpack. Maybe female Onis can. Yeah, her mom or can they... fly. Well, no, her dad can fly too. He just like runs on air, bleach style. Maybe Ray. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's easier with a jetpack. Also, 10 can fly, so yeah, I guess I'd raise just, like, an exception. One hit KO. 
It says something about me that Crook is my is my best. That is ground dark. He's a cool type. Yeah, the, the fighting, the fighting. So Paprika. Ground dark is is like kind of versatile. Ground. It, 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 it eats shit against water though. It is overall a very good type, as especially offensively ground type. Yeah. Can't do shit to flying though. That's why Crunch is there. Okay, well, you're one level above me. Fuck it. You watch any uh, false swipe gaming videos? False swipe gaming? No, I haven't. Is that uh... they do the the videos of like how good was this Pokemon actually? You know those ones? Oh, I think I've seen a couple of like one of them. Recently, they've been doing a series of uh, like why attack isn't everything, why high stats aren't everything. Why high stats aren't everything? Why speed what? is probably everything, and so just general breakdowns of like why competitive Pokemon. Why speed is better than attack than and than literally any other stat in competitive Pokemon? Yes. Is it is it interesting? Uh, yeah, it's interesting okay, if cool. you like to yeah, I'll... hear stuff about competitive Pokemon. Yeah, I like. I uh, yeah, I'll I'll check it out. Uh, the most recent one is like why typing is basically everything. Or it's very important anyway. It's very important oh, anyway. Yeah. And uh, I, 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 it's just interesting hearing about some of the... I, I guess types, some types that are just plain good and some that are just plain bad. Like, basically Poison, anything, is bad. anything is improved by having steel on it. Just because it has so many <laughs> defensive strengths. <laughs> yeah, cyberize everything. Don't give Robotnik any ideas, man. Whereas uh, Ice has, like, only one strength and a, and a bunch of weaknesses. Oh, uh, yeah, so ice is objectively bad. Uh, oh. Oh, it is rock. I, that was rock type. Okay, I guess I'll just use wake up slap then. I need a better uh, fighting type move on, on this guy. Jump down. Jump down. We can do it in Paldia. you dangerous. That's, I don't have a phone to float me down yet. When he does the wake-up slap, I imagine Nicolas Cage doing the god slap, where he just does a prayer to his hand before he, like, does the downward slap on someone. Yeah. Have you seen that clip? I don't think I have. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll link it to you. You can, play, you can choose to play it on stream or not. It's pretty short. I was thinking, like, uh, I was thinking, like, Goku. Oh, the... It's time <laughs> to slap some sense into you! <laughs> Was that was that dub text or, or was that real? Uh, I, it's, it's probably probably dub. What the fuck? He, I, he, I, did, I had he this... did slap him though. There's no way around that. So I had this video like on a separate tab, and I and I just didn't really look at it. I don't know. What the, it's uh it, the the video is titled "None of that story is true, is it, Carl?" And it's uh in brackets forum weapon. Yeah. For okay, I, I think I've seen that pop up, but I didn't watch it. Is it your abuse? What? Okay, I get it. It's just it's the forum, just the idea of forum weapon, like it's like a weapon of mass like destruction on a forum or some shit. Uh, Meanwhile, half the people who see that are like, "What's a forum?" <laughs> it's like Reddit, except decentralized. Ah, fuck! It's a ghost. You think, would you would you think that's a good uh, that's a good very like that's is, a good is way it, to is uh, it decentralized? Uh, what a forum? Yeah, I mean you can have as a good many. It's like it's I will say it's like Reddit except except you just post something. And, I know I know what a forum don't is. Vote it or it's always by date, never by anything else. Here we go. This this is what I'm talking about. I read it as kind of just a forum, but in uh, like, a like less organized cool. style. Oh, wait! This has random encounters, too? Are you outside? Hate... No, I'm in a cave. Oh, well, yep, it's a cave. Random encounters. Sorry. I hate everything about this. Uh...
Oh, you think that's useful, huh? You have a side beam. This, this stupid ghost tent just keeps dancing. It's doing, uh, something. It's de -de 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 -de. Yay, I beat, I beat one. Pro I, oh, I feel like this is going to be a place where we want to avoid as many pa battles as possible. What, if trainer battles? Just battles I have dig. I, I have dig. If I get fucked up, I can just leave and head back to the back Yeah, to the but house. then you gotta walk all the way through again. That's what repels are for. Also, I, doesn't one of my Pokemon have a smoke ball? I can just throw the smoke ball on it and just run from every random battle. Yeah. I should be doing that, actually. Throw. Throw! <laughs> yep. My Lum now knows Fly and Volt Tackle. And yep. her ability is Plot Armor. Lum versus Kaminari. Death Battle. Well, consider. I, I don't think. I think Kaminari himself can be shocked, right? I assume. Maybe. I don't know. Actually. Lum... Wait, so if Lum gets tangled up in the. in like the. Uh, in like the electric cords and. like the power lines, is she'll be affected? Uh, no. Lum, like, eats electricity. So she's immune. Okay. So if Kaminari gets hit by a taser, would he just be like, I don't taste me, bro, and then go down, or would he. to get. go get dumb, like usual? Maybe he'd get, maybe he'd like short circuit. <laughs> if he was also immune to electricity, then it would just come down to, it just, it just come down to the first episode of Urusei. It'd just be a dude trying to chase down a flying girl. <gasps> dude, Kevin Ari X slum. <laughs> that, dude, <laughs> crossover ships that pass in the night. I see a lot of art of uh, Lum and Sailor Jupiter meeting. Because electric? Yeah. I always miss your sparkling personality. Oh my god. <laughs> I just, this is kind of related, and I'll get to it in a second, and you'll be like, okay, yes, I can see how that was related. Um, but uh, James Bond's kind of an asshole. Foul play. Uh, shit, what does that do again? Uh... It is a powerful dark type move that uses the opponent's attack stat. So if you're against someone that you know has a high attack stat, I, it's a good move to have. Oh, for Crook! Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> Don't replace Crunch because he's still good to have your own attack power. I'll probably replace Swagger. Swagger or Sandstorm, probably. Sandstorm, I feel like it would be. It could, there's like niche use for that. And if I get a better ground type move or, or maybe even just a rock type move. That'd be useful. Anyway, James Bond is an asshole. Uh, he, 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 you know, he just, he kills people, he just makes a quip, he doesn't feel bad. Oh, he's evolving! Yes! I didn't know he had a, a third evolution. Final form. Uh, is that in the, in Die Another Day? Which is the last one. That's the most ridiculous one. That's the one I actually like the most, despite everybody saying it's like the worst one. Yes! Crocodile. Crook for short. Looney Tunes, motherfucker. Yeah, so... So that's that's the movie where at one point he surfs on like the melted remains of a, of the North Pole while a fucking like a French weapon, like laser, like sunlight weapons satellite is like coming down on him. That sounds very sensitive to climate change. Yeah. That plot. <laughs> no, the, the guy, the guy was a, the guy, the, the main villain. Oh, I, 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 I want to watch that movie someday. That's a, that's a really dumb movie, but a really fun movie. But it's so dumb, but it's so fun. Uh, there's one villain is like this North Korean general, and uh, in, in the beginning of the movie, like a, a suitcase full of diamonds explodes in his face, right? Yeah. And then later on, they see he sees him. And it just with the diamond still in his face, I guess he can't remove him or something. And James Bond looks at him and goes, "You know, I've really missed your sparkling personality." It's just like, dude, he's got you a gunpoint. What are you trying to do? 
And like when when Odd Job misses his fucking hat, and then he gets electrocuted for real. Like the actor actually did get electrocuted. Fortunately, it wasn't too bad. Um, <clears throat> but he had a quip to make. Yeah, but he's just die dead, lying there dead, and then he's like, "Oh, the other guy's like, hey, what happened to him?" He's like, "Oh, uh, he blew a fuse." Fucking! <laughs> this guy tosses a guy into like a printing press. He presumably gets crushed in like some of those horrible like accident videos that you see on Live Week, and he goes, ah, "They'll print anything these days." <laughs> Fucking dickhead! <laughs> a just, man just desensitized to it by this point. <laughs> There's another. He has another electric theme death pun he makes. So. So he's like with a woman, like, and then, it, and then the woman's in on like the scheme to like kill him, and so, and so guy like comes to him and he turns the woman into and uses her as a shield for like the club. She doesn't die. He throws him in, the, in like the bathtub, and then there's like an electrocutor in the room, and before he's able to shoot him, he just James Bond just grabs the heater, throws it in the tub, and he just gets shocked to death. And then he turns to the woman, and he goes like a disappointed, like, shocking, absolutely shocking. Just. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, you would have said something else if he died, like, by fire. He would have turned God to her and gone, How dare you burn me, woman? Or some shit like that. Yeah? I, d I don't know. Do these guys have high attack? Not too high, I guess. Okay, I'll just use Dick again. Wow, this guy is swole as fuck. Like... Just something about James Bond, just the secret agent, he just is so emotionally dead. Oh god, do you know how the main villain in uh, in Die Another Day gets it? Some guy is like going on this like new era speech, like this will be a new era of, of our organization. So then he turns to Bond, and they're, they're like on a plane that's about to go down, and like the guy has a parachute on, he's like... He goes, time to face destiny, and then James Bond about to pull is about to pull the guy's shoot open, and James Bond goes, time to face gravity, and he pulls it, and, he gets, and the guy gets sucked into an engine. <laughs> that's not gravity, that's a plane engine. <laughs> oh. I gotta find a list, because, okay, okay, can you imagine if just an anime character, okay, no one uh, dies in anime. Uh, sometimes they... Okay, the attack on Titan, but someone has a pun every time somebody dies. Talk about a bad appetite. It just beat that over and over again, because that's how most people die in attack on... Oh, from what I've seen. I don't know. I've had yeah. much attack on Titan. People say it's good. I don't know. First, maybe it's like uh, My Hero Academia gets better as we, as we'll watch it. Like, people do say it gets better after season one, but... Yeah, so did My Hero Academia. So there's a precedent. I'm taking My Hero Academia too. started out, like, just generic, though. Or is that one? Attack on Titan started out, like, with actively frustrating writing most of the time. Foul play! Not very effective in that set. Whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa! Sorry. Now you closed it. No, I, I, I meant, meant to do that. I wanted to tweak the uh, audio one more time. But, uh... What are you doing? Oh, you're tweaking me out. Okay. So... Yeah, that's just like a thing of the, of the James Bond franchise. Everything's gotta be punny. Like, I don't think the, the Daniel Craig ones were, were very punny. Because it's all serious and shit, despite the fact that at one point there's a chase scene and James Bond's chasing like a person who's doing parkour, and the, the, the parkour person goes over, like really cool, he goes over like a wall and through a window, right? And James Bond, he just decides to go through the wall. It's probably a shitty drywall and shit. I just looked at that, I'm like, what the fuck, bro? But yeah, classic James Bond was all about those puns. Sorry, I just had a thought. Did okay. I accidentally resize your uh, your 3DS window? Is that why it's doing that line thing, maybe? Uh oh, you're gonna do this in the middle of the stream. We're gonna but we're just gonna for a second.
If you close me, I haven't saved yet. If you close it, I'm gonna be. I'm not crossed. gonna close it. I'm gonna save. Don't do anything. Okay, there else. you I'm go. No, it's back right to now. normal. Okay. Uh. All right. Do with my window as you will. No, I just, I just did. Uh, I think it might be fixed now. Cool. I, maybe that's what happened. Like, I accidentally clicked a corner of the window, and it was just, like, a smidge smaller for, like, a couple streams. That... No, because there's still a line on the bottom right. Whatever. <laughs> oh, no. Chub Chew. Oh, that's... I have one, and that's Ice-type. Yeah. I, yeah, which I apparently is literally useless. I think it's good offensively. Maybe. <laughs> what? Oh no! Ninja Miner! The number two trainer on Twist Mountain is me. Oh, Can you no. find the third strongest? Come on. Yes, please. Uh, is this just does this just go nowhere? I see a doctor in the distance. Foul play. Remember when uh, when Misty was like having trouble with that side duck? Yeah. That was like a thing. She just kept around a Psyduck and occasionally she'd want to go with another Pokemon and it just Psyduck came out and she's like, why did I catch this fucking Psyduck? Which makes me wonder, why did she catch that fucking Psyduck? What was the con- You miss one ep- you miss like a couple episodes and suddenly everything's different you don't know why. <clears throat> I guess she didn't always have it? I don't- I don't remember. She must have caught it at some point. Why, why do you have a Psyduck if you're not going to take good care of it? If you're not going to, like, uh, treat it with love, care, and respect? And then, like, in the later seasons, that bit was replaced with Jesse and a Wobbuffet? I thought that, I thought, I think they were contemporary bits. Hey, Stardust! I can sell this. Uh, was that a, a random encounter? No, that would have let me know. It's fucking, like... Metal stealing swole clowns. Okay, well, I'm just gonna leave. Bye. Alright, Mr. Doctor. Got the. The path between these towns is so long, they had to have, like, a healing house and also a doctor NPC. Yeah, they. They knew what they were doing. I know what you did! I know what you did! Lazy Kim. Lazy Kim. I don't know if I'd trust a doctor named Lazy Kim. <laughs> Lazy Kim's doctor drive through <laughs> Lazy, Ki Lazy Kim's drive through pharmacy. Oh, wait a minute. This guy's a random encounter. I can just take off. Do I have any special attackers? Um, I don't know. Don't think I do. What? What are you? I think I got one of you. Yeah, Drillbur, I already have one of those. Okay. All right. Uh, it's gonna be worth a lot more EXP, so fuck it. I'll fight this one. I don't have a fire. To oh, I do. Because it's level thirty. It's not evolved. Well, it's one of those uh, rare, like rare encounters. I don't think they're worth more EXP. 
Eh, I'll do it anyway. Give another one of my Pokemon something to do. It seems like Fire Type's not going to be too useful here because. Remember when Slash always crit? Good times. Yeah. Oh, wow, that was even super effective. No, you're right. You you were right. Damn it. All right. That was a waste. Maybe this is an unfortunate time to ask, but uh, what are your opinions of this gen so far? I mean, what, you mean in terms of Pokemon design or just in general? Just in general. I mean, it's all right, I guess. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Um... The, the, the long treks between... I, d I don't know, like... Intrinsically, JRPGs are the kind of thing where between story beats, you gotta have to kind of have to turn your brain off and, like, do something else to get through, like, the repetitiveness of the combat. Like, the, the JRPGs and, like, this with long treks, it makes it feel like it's just a, an annoying chore, whereas like, more dangerous stuff, treks between safe zones, actually felt fucking dangerous. Yeah. I hate, to, I hate to bring up, like, Dark Souls again, but Dark Souls, when you're going between point to point and you're not strong enough, it's like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, any wrong mistake, I could die and lose a lot of shit. The first two generations kind of benefit, benefited in that the fact that they were Game Boy games and therefore had to be short. Yeah, now they're just longer, but they don't really, they didn't really change up the... I'm glad there's a doctor, like, uh, further in, because I don't want to leave this cave now. A doctor who, in my case, has a Pokemon that is strong against my attacks, and also has, like, maximum defense. <laughs> and well, it's a doctor, so he has hyper potions, so this is a fucking slog. <laughs> Oh, he's got hyper potions. I gotta one hit kill all this shit. Oh no! Ninja Miner! Believe it! We met the ninjas in My Hero Academia today. Oh yeah, that was they, great. They were throwing metal bits. We met the ninjas and we met the, the, the girls' school led by, like, with whose team was led by Light Yagami, I guess. Eh. I. Just this. They had a shot! They did a, a shot from, like, underneath where it seems like she was just doing... They like, did, like, a step-on-me shot. Yeah, I'm just like, come on, guys. <laughs> you you, you, you want to be more obvious about it? You can. All right, I'm a dig. Oh, iron defense. That's nice. Ugh. I don't think Light Yagami, like, got off on beating people as much as that girl did. Oh, yeah. She's... She she looked like she would have the rich girl laugh. She uh, looked like that type of character. Ara, Ara, no, that's something else. Ooh, um... ho, 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 ho. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. As made it. famous uh, As made famous by Eggman in Sonic X, everyone's favorite rich girl character. Yes. Oh, another Bulldore! You know what? I'm gonna bring my water type out. I haven't seen him- I haven't, uh, used him in a while. Despite him being my starter. Sorry, Musashi. Got, this one's got a defense move, too! <laughs> First one had Barrier, this one's got Iron Defense! I'm dealing with, uh, Pokémon with Iron Defense as well. I, I get it. Razor Fucking Shell. Rock-type Bird and Victini. Iron defense, huh? All right. Or I guess steel type, probably. This robotic totem bird, shifting gears on me. Rock slide's not gonna be where it is. Oh wow. Okay, well. I think, obviously, we haven't gotten to it yet, but I think Gen Six gets a a lot brighter and more colorful and more full of life and just presentation, and also just has way shorter sections between towns and things. Uh, well, that's good. This is just, this is... I've heard people 
praise, like, finally, the, the Gen 5 is the only, like, actually difficult Pokemon Gen. But if it's just difficult because it's, like, grindy like other JRPGs, then... Eh. I don't need that. It's difficult. There's 20 more hours of gameplay. If you, do, if you try to cheat it, you're gonna get your ass kicked. That's why it's difficult. Right, I'm just gonna bypass your high defense. Fuck you. Oh, wow! I almost ki Oh, no. Wow. Okay, he's in headbutt. Fuck it. We're six badges in, and I don't really feel like I've explored a region, per se. No, we're just... We're just going on a, uh... We're just going on a theme park ride. This is a dark ride, but with Pokemon battles. This cave is not a maze. It's just... It's just... I, I, I'm glad for that, at least. I think that could be a Dungeon Synth song. This cave is not a maze. This cave is not a maze. It's... It's not progressive at all. It's just the same beat over and over again. Until it fades out. Yeah. Then you got this cave is a maze, where it's like ultra complicated, like almost math rocky. Math rock? I don't know. I I'm, I I might be. No, I've heard that term before. That. I just I don't know what it implies. You know, let's learn something new together. What I is math my... rock? Did you mean meth rock? Meth rock. <laughs> That's just thrash. What is math rock? Rock, a style of rock music characterized by complex rhythmic and instrumental patterns. Okay. Yeah, math rock. Okay. <laughs> I, it's a weird, weird way to describe it. You know, it's like it's like each uh, each uh, section of the song is an equation. I like uh, Symphony X as a metal band that uh, really plays with rhythm in really weird and creative ways. Yeah. Oh See, wait, no, I shouldn't do this. Hold on. What, fight a ditto? No, I don't want my ditto to transform into my Wonder Guard creature. Uh, fortunately, swapping is is always fast. Oh god, another ninja miner. Are you the third strongest? I am the third mole brother. Worker Cairn. Oh wait, no, never mind. It doesn't have transform. What did it do? I missed it too, sorry. Doesn't matter now. Well, that's gonna be useless, it's metal type. That's gonna harm me! No, it's a uh, ground, rock, and steel are all. No, it's gonna harm my other Pokemon! Oh, yeah. Why'd I do that? I'm an idiot! Well, you got ground is super effective against him. Oh, yeah, you're right. I got. Hope he doesn't like Earthquake or something. No, he doesn't. A mole that's weak that to ground type. That killed it in one hit! A mole that doesn't have ground type? A mole that's weak to ground type. It's like a fish yeah. that's weak to water. Oh, like a land shark. It... I love... It... It's, it's weird hand fish. I don't like it. Kikimura's design. Okay, gotta run from this thing now. Yep. I don't... What else is on your team besides uh, Crocodile? Got, uh... Oh, the, God, the... Handfish wrecked me. That's <laughs> what you get for talking shit about it. Let me ran. leave. Is it the Handfish again? No, it's, uh... All the Pokemon in this cave are so pretty, but so deadly. So I got uh, Girder, uh, Muna's Evolution, Darmuna, I think, uh, Samurai Otter, uh, Darmaka, and uh, Gears. I feel like Hot Kong is cl next closest to evolving. Musashi is level 36, I think. The problem is, is that... Uh, yeah, no, I, I know. It's a bad area for him. Yeah. If anything, Musashi would be like... would be. Okay, I'm just gonna. Oh, I'm almost. Okay. I'm close. I'm close to the doctor. Uh, I'll just. Uh, I'll. Am I close to the doctor? I think he's right outside this door. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. Got him. 
bad case. I needin' you to heal my Pokemon. <laughs> Dude, can you imagine a movie in which uh, uh, William Shatner and Christopher Walken were just were just the main characters? Yes. It'd be just two awkward fucking people. It'd be great. <laughs> And then Nicolas Cage, who doesn't really have, like, a gimmick voice, he just sounds strange all the time. Nicolas Cage, oh man, I still gotta watch the unbearable weight of massive talent. Yeah. Because that's just Nick Cage, like, and he just plays Nick Cage. Like, his character is literally just Nick Cage. I forget what movie it was, but, uh, he, he, did, he did a movie where, uh, he gave an interview later where... He described his 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 reasoning for a scene where he's in a prison and crying, and he's like, "Well, you know, the the idea of crying it, when you break it down to its element, it's boo hoo, right?" <laughs> that sounds like Nick Cage. Was Which, that the Rock? So in the in the mo in the movie, the scene that I'm talking about, he's he's just like in the fetal position in a jail cell, and he screams like, "Boo hoo, boo hoo!" That's him crying. <laughs> Okay, that's e that's one two. That's either The Rock or that's Con Air. Yeah, and my I think considering how badly of, her, of how bad a reception it has, it's probably Con Air. Is that a psychic type? That is a psychic type. Oh, that, this will be easy then. I gotta go back to the doctor, man. <laughs> okay, I'll heal your uh, your Pokemon. Great, but you gotta fight me again. I don't have the PP to fight you, Doctor. Masharna. That's the evolution of Muna. Psychic type, yeah. Yes. Doctor Hank. That Pokemon ain't right. Do another. I think they're doing another Detective Pikachu game. Yeah, I mean the movie was decently received. Ah, oh, just one sliver. Fuck off. You fucker! <laughs> the hyper potion is real. Come on, stay down, stay down. No. Another uh, anime podcast news. Jack finally gave up on the One Piece anime. Uh, I didn't so much give up on. Oh yeah, I well, gave up on the One Piece anime. I didn't give up on One Piece. I'm reading the manga. And you're watching through it, and, uh... It was like, uh, episode 655 or something that you finally said, No, did this pacing fucking blows. This is the worst pa- Like, I'm I'm spoiled on, on shows with good pacing. Even Bleach's pacing is better, and it uses the same, like, episode format of, like, release. Of just them just, just doing it, like, once a week forever. You know, I bet Bleach, it manages to have a little better pacing with the canon episodes because they do have filler arcs. Yeah, that's how they do it. They do they do filler. No, One Piece kind of stopped doing filler arcs and instead just pads time really badly in the show all the time. Just one, yeah. Like Dragon Ball used to. Like Dragon Ball gets shit. People talk shit about Dragon Ball for just like screaming for a whole episode and nothing actually happening. It's not quite that bad, but One Piece feels that bad a lot of the time. Yeah. It's just... Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but One Piece has just, the anime has just been. You said you wanted to come back in the uh, Wano arc when they like boost the animation. Yes, because, because although the pacing might still be bad, the animation will be better. And right now, the animation is not, is also not really that good. <laughs> There's just a lot of like, it's almost like house husband levels of like of like not a whole lot of animation going on. Yeah. I think I caught a scene where uh, there was like an explosion on the ground and the dust cloud moving across the screen was just a, a stationary JPEG. So you're saying I made the right decision? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Musashi, you need to level up. Get get to grinding. I'm still enjoying it, but it's definitely better if you can, like, binge ten episodes at once than, like, once every two weeks or something. I mean, fuck, I might, I might just do that. I might just have it and then just play it on my phone while I'm, like... I guess it also helps that the... Another way that they pad for time is by having, like, a four-minute intro and then a full minute of a recap every episode. 
Five minutes, so there's so like... So 20 minutes nine... is actually like 15 minutes of new footage? Remember when we watched that one edited episode of Bleach, which removed like the recap and the intro and the exit? It was like night, like a brisk, what, six, 18, 19 minutes? Yeah. That was the one that began with just, we were like, hey, let's watch the fucking Bleach. We opened it and the first lines were yelling, we were going, very well. Was that that episode? <laughs> that was that episode. I, that was the only one of the ones that you got uh, at that time that was like that. And I'm just like, fuck. So good. Um, Goldor. Yeah, that's a... Okay, yeah, keep battling. I think I'm gonna take him out. Go down, rock! How many streams have we spent on this route? I, I feel like it's been... No, no, I beat the I beat the the airplane gym leader last stream, but that was after we had to like go to the stupid tower. So yeah. it's probably been two like two or three full streams since we arrived at the most recent town that we've arrived to. <laughs> this pacing. Oh no! I got my hopes up. I thought that door you're about to go through was the exit. It's not. I'm not. I'm, I'm going back to heal. Right, what is this? Is this a heal house? Can I sleep here? There's beds. Right here. Please. No, let me heal. Am I lost? I think you're going the same way that I went, and I seem to be on the right track. No, I want to go back to the doctor. Oh, but then, yeah, you want to go back the way you came. God damn it. Okay, am I faster than you? Yes, I am. Okay, go this way. I'm at the door! What are you talking about? No! Uh. I finished watching uh, Joel's stream of uh, JoJo Eyes of Heaven, and uh, it was kind of disappointing. But the story, uh... The, yeah. The, I, I was considering, like, us streaming the story mode, but nah, it's not worth it. Joel would ruin that for you. They had, like, uh, they had, like, the new deal for him and everything, which that's cool. But then all the story beats are just kind of... They just kind of repeat everything in part three. Oh. It, they're going for, like, hey, recognize the thing more than they are trying to, like, do something new and interesting. Oh, so they, so they didn't try at all. Yeah. That's that sucks. It'd be cool to just have like a young Jotaro team up with his uh, with his daughter, but no, that's not gonna happen. Well, that that does happen. There's like interesting little character interactions. But, well, uh... I think that's the game where you can have like Dio Brando and Dio all caps team up, and that's the one where like one of them goes, "You fool! You think you can take on Dio and Dio?" Yeah, that sounds like <laughs> the interaction it would have. Yeah, they have a special move too. They both, they both do their like, uh, do, he does the laser eyes and they does a time stop and, and like they just set each other up. It's great. It's and then there's Diego. We don't talk about him. Oh, did this spoil uh, Steel Ball Run a little bit? A little bit. The Diego Brando, who uh, from what I heard, he's not he's not a bad he's not uh, too bad a guy. He's actually a pretty good guy. Being, being a better guy than Dio is a low bar. His stand's different, I heard. I don't know anything about his stand. Oh. So I did spoil, spoil it a little bit, but not too much, I don't think. <sighs> I'm gonna stay here for a while and grind. Okay, you do that, Sharon. I'm getting the fuck out of this place. We are in. No, not more cutscene. <laughs> hey, bro, were you just waiting for me outside of this cave? What took you so long? Dragon Spiral Tower is said to be the Unova region's oldest building. Some say it's the place where legendary Pokemon came to life, or where they remain in deep slumber. Just past Icarus City. What? No, wait, isn't that the place we just were? The Dragon Spiral place? Yeah, fly back. Sorry. You're, you're 
three levels above me. God damn it. I'm just gonna put the, the, the thing on you. The, the EXP share. That must be a different tower, then. Why are there so many towers here? Tower! <laughs> it's just... So many towers. We gotta rescue our, them from the prisoner tower. Oh no, you gotta go to Dragon Tower to pull the spire. Oh, you're you're just getting swole, huh? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fight you with my mind. He's beaming pain directly into my brain. You're just gonna keep getting swole. He's just gonna keep working out. He doesn't care what you're doing. I'm just gonna. Okay, fine. There you go. You're you're dead now. So how, you started reading the manga from where we left off. How how far have you gotten? Uh, just a couple chapters. I was busy, but I'm gonna I'm gonna read it like uh, probably during like downtime at work. Um, and uh, tonight when I'm going to sleep, uh, it is it is paced better. <laughs> I would imagine. Things that spend like five like three minutes on is just one panel, and you get the point. What the fuck? You doing the twirl? Well, that was weird. Mirror shot. What is it? Who's learning mirror shot? Uh, I think, oh, Clank is. What is that? A seal move? Special yeah, seal, seal move. 65 he, power. This is a flash of energy at the target from his polished body. May lower the target's accuracy. Oh, so it's a more 65. powerful... Well, it's only got 65 accuracy, though, isn't it? Oh, whoops. Sharply raised speed stat. Attacks by throwing two steel gears. Attacks with an electric charge. What... Can you see Regular. his stats from here? Does it have a special attack stat? Uh, I cannot see his stats from here. God damn it. Uh, wish... Thundershock is useless. Yeah, you're right. All right it's just worse charge beam. You know how, uh, you know how Code Lyoko just kind of kept doing episodes until they decided to end it? And then Jeremy's <laughs> like, Oh, hey, by the way, I, I, hey, I finally just now finished the vaccine. Let's kill Xana. And it just kind of dropped like that. Yeah. I, they kind of did that with, with the tournament in One Piece, where it just, like, oh, kept just... going. Oh, it just kept going and nothing was happening for episode after episode and then, after know, episode. Just like, and then they're like, fuck the tournament. All and right. then there was some big event that, like, like all 30 people, the last 30 people just dropped at once. It was like, right. okay, we're done now. Alright, uh, how about, uh, before we te tell each other where we each other are at, we'll just confirm we've both finished Dressrosa, and then, and then we'll, like, get, we'll talk, we'll talk about how, how the arc went for us. Yeah. I wasn't gonna talk about more than that, I just thought it was a funny thing, because the anime drug on that tournament for so long with nothing happening. How many episodes did you get through? Uh, like, 16 or something. You're a beast! <laughs> Just chugging like, uh, just chugging like energy drinks and just like, I'm gonna watch some One Piece. Yeah, One Piece! It's great. Great energy. Fighting is weak against. No, it's strong against fighting. God damn it. Uzashi is useful for very little. Oh Wait, is this. We've been seeing a lot oh, of. Oh, this like, is a very... trainer battle. Fuck. We've been seeing a very limited, like, variety of Pokemon of, of recently. I guess because we've been in this stupid cave for the past two streams. This cave? Well, I was on the outside of this cave. It's all ground and rock and fighting types. I want to play one of the, some of those Pokemon tactics games, like uh, like Nobunaga's amb Ambition, but with Pokemon. That seemed interesting. I thought you meant, like, uh, the Mystery Dungeon games. Mystery Dungeon actually has, has a as a combat system that flows better than this, despite it using the same only no four moves and shit. So yeah, if you want to ever want to play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, nah, it's I, like, I tried them; they weren't for me. Yeah, I'm I'm more of a roguelike fan. I, I, I oh I'm I am a, like a roguelike fan, so yeah, I guess. Boldor. I really. Who's Ashi's lagging behind? I really gotta. Toxic Rook looks so... He looks like a Sonic character. Yeah. A little bit. I... 
<laughs> Looks like he'd be uh, hanging out with the Chaotix, maybe. Yeah. I'm a new recruit of the Chaotix. Oh my god! Almost! Oh, he's sturdy. That's why he survived. Okay. Fuck it. Rock Smash. Wish there was like a Pokemon move that could ignore Sturdy. Well, it's not a move necessarily, but if you have like uh, entrance Aqua hazards. Jet. New one. If you have uh, entrance hazard like spikes or uh, stealth rock, that invalidates it. Oh, uh, instant uh, first strike uh, as it's, it's quick attack, but but with water. Yeah. Uh, scald. Wait, scald's eighty. But what? Is he, does he's... he have a special? Does he a special attacker though? Uh, let's see, scald special. Razor Shell's physical. I don't know which one is higher. I think I he's a physical attacker. You Fury know what? Cutter's kind of pointless. Yeah. Because he evolves into, like, a fighting type. So, yeah, physical. You got me! Alright, I gotta, I'm gonna make some adjustments. Like you're at level 36, you don't need this anymore. Musashi needs it more than you do. You're on the EXP share. Dude, what if you have like 5 EXP? What happens if you hack more EXP shares into the game? It just uh, divides the experience by the number of people who have EXP shares. Is that true? Yeah. Oh wow, that's... you can you can get multiples of them. What do you have, buggy? You have a rocky helmet. Okay, I'll keep that on you. I don't know uh, if you can obtain more of them in a single player game, but you could like trade them from other games. Oh, you're the one with the smoke ball. Okay. You know what? Crook, you get the smoke ball. Got so much shit I need to sell. The, uh, that dude who did the Paper Mario origami criticism video. Yeah. That was one of the things he pointed out. Going back to, like, the hallway dungeon thing. Is that, uh... The puzzles in Orig Origami King weren't really puzzles. No. They were just kind of like, uh, you hit everywhere with a hammer until something happens. Good. Oh, hey, I can get, I can get uh, uh, soda or fresh water here. Oh, I can't buy in bulk! This is a vending machine, not Costco. Alright, that should be good. Well, there's no, no, I know uh, what you're thinking. You can't sleep in these beds. These are construction beds only. I can't even use the computer. What's the point of this room? Something in a wastebasket? Empty! Okay! It makes the world feel lived in. <laughs> See, there, you could have literally just put in the room... Like, like, on the door, like, this is locked. Who puts a bottomless abyss in their gym? Uh... It was already there. It's over here. Is this the way out? That is the way out, and no, there's not a fight. You can just walk out. Okay. No, fuck off. Every yeah. time your your crocodile comes out, it sounds like a rock guitar. Yeah. Shred. Huh, pretty strong. You're all only strong because you are controlling Pokemon. So if you want to set Pokemon free, that's what you want. You should start with your own. You first! 
but taking people people's Pokemon by force is not right. That is not real strength. Hey, there you are! We found the thing we're looking for! We should head to the tower! <laughs> hey! Get this! Team Plasma has obtained the power to change to this world and end people's control over Pokemon. We must use that! Oh no, not that! I don't know what they found, but to go the extra mile to gain power and cause trouble. Bothersome bunch. Hey, you're fighting a ride on! Oh, that sucks. That's okay, it's not a rock type. Also, he's a sleepy boy. Why do I want to be strong? Okay. I'm gonna stay here for a while. I need to think a little bit about... Hey, J-Cool! How's that crocodile? Ah, oh, it's taking a shine to you! Time okay. spent having fun is the most important thing of all. Are you having fun, J. Cool? It's said to be the Unova region's oldest building. Okay. This is the place where legendary Pokemon came to life, or where they remain deep in slumber. I guess which whichever version you're playing. I know it's just past Icarus City, but that's all I know about it. It's all anyone knows, because no one has ever been inside. My daughter hasn't wanted to invest. Oh yeah, your daughter, the the really cheerful one. The professor. Oh, okay. If there's something I don't know. That's the feeling of pure adventure. I'm not too old for some adventuring, anyway. Away I go to have a look at Dragon Spiral Tower. Woo! I keep I keep getting one hit KO moves and thinking they'll be broken, but they're all like 30, 40 accuracy. I mean, as intended. Damn it. Oh, uh, Stunfisk was in the pond. Isn't it a beautiful Pokemon? It's water type, right? Uh, ground electric. It's a land oh, I'm ground. fish. Oh, I'm ground. I could have. I, 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 I did have anything to fucking worry from S that thing. Speaking of fish that are weak to water. <laughs> Why is Pseudo Wudo a rock type? Because cause it's only, it only pretends to be a tree. That's the joke. What you got for TMs, buddy? Blizzard, Thunder, Fire Blast. I don't have enough for any of these. Spent all my money on sodas. Wait. Oh, you can you can buy stuff here. Let me sell you. Uh, I'll sell you this. Five thousand. Yeah. You got some Stardust. Are there any of those okay. that you want? Uh, no, I'm just selling shit. I guess that's all I got in terms of, uh, in terms of vendor shit. Okay, uh, okay. Can we just remove vendor trash? Can we just, like, no! get money instead? No, it is boring. Yeah, I like, I like the middleman. I like vendor trash. It's it's, it's like great. how in Zelda just... one you fired air, you fired rupees. Like instead of buying arrows, they just cut out the middleman. <laughs> Money gun. And Link didn't have like an actual bow and arrow. He had a fucking like one of those old school like dollar like dollar bill guns. He just used to fire at like Octoroks and shit. Yeah. Mm, I got twenty two ultra balls. That's not enough. I need more. I don't need more of those. Sorry. Uh, take a couple of these. Just be safe. Did I get rid of Premier Balls? 
I think they're still here. You, but you get oh. one from buying ten Pokeballs. Oh. Just ten Pokeballs, not ten, like, Ultra Balls or anything. Yeah. What What are you guys doing? Spin, spin, turn and spin! Oh, I ruined it. Oh, they... <laughs> what kind of cult this... shit are you guys doing? Remember when Amphibia referenced Midsommar? That was... <laughs> I, you know, I, I, so they did that that episode, right? They were going down like, hey, we need to get more people. We need to get uh, back to the resistance base, and then they got to, <laughs> they, they got to, uh, they got like what knocked out or hurt or something, and they woke up, and I saw their dress and their the, the thing. I'm like, oh no, oh no! You didn't know what I was talking was. I was like talking about. No, I just earlier. thought it was a generic cult reference. I know. I I'm like it was a very specific reference. Yeah, I got out. They were doing the maypole and shit. I'm like, this is fucking midsummer. Remember when uh, Codename Kizunok Store referenced the Animatrix? Yeah. Legendary Pokemon Z Krom shared his wisdom with the hero and defi defied foes with fierce lightning. The hero and that Pokemon were as close as parent and child. People were filled with awe and looked up to them, and it said that is said to be the beginning of this of what became ancient Unova. Okay. If we live a monotonous life, do we get used to it and stop thinking about changing it? Listen! Listen! Heard that Bryson was in the movies a long time ago. Bry they say that ideals intermingled with truth and dragons filed. Yeah. Okay. Uh, on today's Your Pokemon, we will introduce a very relaxed little one. In the small house of Driftdale City, the cub chew named Cody lives with his trainer. Worker in cold storage. Takes a nap right there in cold storage. Even was cold enough that his chair and seat are clattering. Cody naps away in perfect comfort. That was Cody. He's very relaxed, but not as relaxed as my cub chew. On the next year of Pokemon, we will introduce a Pokemon that is patient, but not as patient as mine. <laughs> this narrator kind of sucks. Yeah. Always, the tower looms, disdainful of the wind and snow. Perhaps its presence has a special meaning for people. I guess I'm going to the fucking tower, Jesus Christ. Or am I going to the gym first? I don't know. I went to the gym. I guess I'm going to the gym. Ice type, right? Yeah. You like All ice right, puzzles? Um, Pokemon ice puzzles are usually kind of easy. I've never really had a major problem with them that I remember. I'll just fire punch everything. Please take this fresh water. Hey, thank you. Why? Ice can be melted with fire or shattered with fighting. You get smashed into dust with rock and steel. So Count the weaknesses. Okay, so, uh... So I actually have one, two, three... Four po Pokemon that are potentially... I can potentially take them out. Got it. The only type that ice actually resists is ice. Wow. Why is ice so fucking weak? The typing in, in Pokemon wouldn't they no it would make no sense today. Yeah. I feel like oh. it, a lot of Gen 1 Pokemon would have different evolution methods if they were introduced later. When the yeah. more convoluted evolution methods existed. Oh like, you would God. actually have to get three Diglets to get a Doug Trio. That would be awful. Yeah. Pure, utter... Alright, ice time! <sighs> Here, I feel like dizzy because of the gym machines. I will stand in your path. What does that even mean? Okay, we're fighting. Is 
sending out Cub Chew. I'm a cold little bear! Yo, yeah, well, I'm a hot little bear thing. What's a Darumaki? Is it a bear? I a monkey? I, I don't know. It's just a little weird Darumaka kind of thing. Super effective. Fuck off. Another Cub Chew. Keep battling. I'm gonna punch it. Now it's time for him to shine. Yeah. My fighting spirit will uh, will take care of the ice around your hearts. Is that cryo cryogonal? Pyro. Oh, is, the, is it the evolved form? No, it's uh. Oh my god, it's terrifying. I don't like this design. This design looks MS Paint as fuck. Yeah, it's a very it's like goofy a, looking Pokemon. It looks like a fan Pokemon. Yeah. It does. Sharp rise in defense. Oh, you avoided the attack! Alright, that's it. The flare Blitz. Yeah. This Pokemon feels like the most Entee's Edge design for Pokemon. But the... The, the, <laughs> the snowflake. Oh, I remember that there was a like a fan Pokemon for like a fan, like a ROM hack. Oh, taunt. Uh, could be useful against him though. He like he can't take hits. Yeah, that's true. Is it uh, Pokemon Uranium? Yeah, that's the one. How'd you know? Because you've, you've, you've mentioned it before. Yeah, I haven't mentioned it on stream. I think so. The one where there's a Pokemon that was like, uh... Like the, the doll, the substitution doll, chained to a Pokeball. Yeah. And then somebody uh, said about the evolution before I even saw it. It says, quote, I looked up the evolution and I burst out laughing. <laughs> Which... <laughs> It's like talking about Maximum Edge. <laughs> Should move be deleted and replaced with Taunt? No, I'm keeping old moves. You don't need to give up on Taunt. <sighs> Gotta head back to the Focus Center. Oh, you're evolving! I like his little vaudeville dance. Yeah. Well, what, the, the evolution or... No, he's, but we're about to lose the dance. Yeah. Oh yeah, this one. I'm a... Well, now he looks Garmantian. extra Kong. Hammer arm! Eh, Big type. hit, lower speed. Oh, so I can use it as a finisher. Uh, side. Attack move that doubles if its user is poison burned or, or has paralysis. Yeah, probably uh, not worth keeping. Yeah. That's normal type. Normal type moves are... Okay, I'll be right back. Oh, oh no! Am I trapped? Okay, no, I'm not. I am, I am that asshole that goes back to the Pokemon Center after every battle. I know, I'm, I am a monster. This is like Kikiri Forest music. This is not music I expect to hear for Pokemon Town. Yeah. <laughs> Legend of Zelda, except instead of it being a Zelda game, it's a Pokemon game. Ganon is like the Pokemon uh, main villain. The team, uh, you yeah, Team Darkness or whatever. And then Link, ha Saria is the childhood friend that's also going on the Pokemon adventure. And then Mido is the is the asshole rival. Oh, but they can't leave the forest. Apparently. Well, no. It, well. 
it, it depends on... Oh, I'm going to the tower again. I like that the gym is just built into a cave. The gym is a cave. It's a hobbit gym. Burn the hobbit's holes! <laughs> Some guy, man, uh, there, one guy was describing that one part of Lord of the Rings is like going, Yeah, Frodo gets corrupted by the ring and shit. Yeah. Just, I don't know, just adding like and shit to stuff that's like supposed to be dark, like lore stuff. Okay, what do you got? Oh. That thing again. Yeah, well, I'm, I've become stronger. Better. I have my... Oh, no. I don't know that it's even a useful Pokemon, because that's its only form. It doesn't evolve. It looks so dumb. I don't, I don't like it at all. I, the art style just makes it look so fake Mon. Okay. Gotta press up. It's fine, I'll just pour water on your ice burn. Imagine the trainer, like, coming into this gym with a pitcher of water. Just melting some of the ice, leaving, coming back with another pitcher of water. <laughs> gym this, trainer's are like, hey, you can't do that! That's some Taskmaster level uh, lateral thinking. Alright, you need uh, to get to the end of this Pokemon gym. Okay, are, are there any, like, rules, right? Just get to the end of the Pokemon gym. No, no, what he would say is all the information is on the task. <laughs> well, can I... I have to get to the end of this gym with covered in ice? Yes, please. Well, do, do you want... Do I... Can I get what I need to? All the information is on the task. God. Somebody would... The ice would be dangerous. I don't. I, I think that was something that was considered, but ultimately rejected because it'd be too dangerous. Uh, sadly enough. Ah, there's so many trainers in this gym. Wee. Yeah, this is a slog. Gen Come 4 on. felt like a slog mostly because of the mechanics. This game feels like a slog by just design. Yeah. It, somebody said con. This was back when uh, when everybody was all about content, like length. Like if a game is long, that means it's good. There was a game uh, that was slagged on for being four hours long, despite it getting a like, kind of a critical reevaluation, yeah. and it's like being kind of considered interesting. Like, that was the thing. Everyone was like, this game's too short. Don't have um, as much bang for your buck. And I guess that's why, like, they went to the open world style of gameplay. And now it's just like everybody got what they wanted with, like, it being long. But then it's just, like, there's no real content in the game. That's what it feels like to me. Yeah. People are liking uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah. Uh, I see Wickersham playing it quite a bit. I was worried that uh, it would just kind of be Breath of the Wild, but again, and it wouldn't really take any risks or change much, but I, I've i asked people, they claim that it is as different from Breath of the Wild as Majora is from Ocarina. I don't oh, know do if they I believe a... that, but that's a good sign if true. I don't believe you. <laughs> just somebody say, I don't believe you. <laughs> I found this new channel, actually, speaking of I Don't Believe You. Yeah. Um, there's this channel, these people play, like, these two guys play these old board games. And, uh, but they do, like, twists. Like, so they, I, I mentioned that they played Candyland. Yeah. Um, it was but, just, uh. You said it was, like, Candyland, but worse? Yeah, that's what the title of the video is. So they would play Candyland, uh, but in order to, like, actively move to the space, they had to guess what the next uh, card was going to be. Like, they're just a color or an object. They didn't have to guess whether it would be two or one. Yeah. And, uh... And there were four moves the entire game. Before they just gave up and quit? Be well, before they, they, uh... Because it was also, if you missed, you take you take a drink. And they they just decided, okay, if we get through this bottle, we whoever's farther wins. 
farther along wins. And, uh, and you know, and even the, like, they were mocking their camera woman, who was like, like, I can guess the next one. Oh, yeah, he's like, Terry, you're, you're gonna just guess it. He's like, yeah, I, I say the next one is yellow. Oh, Terry, you're gonna, you're gonna, it's yellow. Here, we'll see what it is. And she, they turn it over, and it was indeed yellow. Yeah. And they just lose their shit. Imagine, mm. imagine fucking counting cards in Candyland. <laughs> well, you have to in order to win that one. It went from a game. Because that's the problem with Candyland is that is that like, the when the victor is already decided. Yeah. Fate is. Has get, it's a it's a hard the game is actually a hard lesson about fate. I don't believe that though. God, you can you can you can have the opportunity to get a Zorark. I can't get a fucking Zorark. Well, it was a trainer battle, but. I want a cool fox woman. They can change. They can like change into a girl and kiss Ash. No wait, that was Latius. How many Pokemon do that? <laughs> Vanilla. Sh oh, that's the ice cream Pokemon. I'm gonna melt your ice cream. Ooh, I'm a ghost. <laughs> Ooh, I'm a ghost. That's uh, still one of my favorite interactions from Fallout New Vegas. Was you go and do the like near a person who witnessed your quote unquote death, and then he's like, "What? How'd you get back?" And then the courier having the ability to go like, "I'm a ghost here to haunt you," <laughs> showing that 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 person ki kind of has a sense of humor about the situation. Yeah. All right, knock that shit off. Are you aware of the SpongeBob episode where uh, Squidward oh. has them convinced that he is a ghost and that they killed him? No. Because that that was an episode. That sounds that sounds like something too too like fun for Squidward. Squidward seems too straight laced to do something like that. Yeah. This is gonna be my uh my go time run. Maybe I'll get to the gym leader and then I'll turn back. <laughs> Excuse me. It was also a Hey Arnold <laughs> episode. What who who's the ghost in that situation? Oh, uh, it was like an old swinger dude. What? <laughs> Who, who Wait. like faked his own death? Uh, fake Sinatra faked his own death, and then went to hide out at the boarding house. And at all the stupid boarders were convinced he was a ghost. Was that the one where somebody claims to be him as he's faking his death? Yes. I see that and episode. Then that person is more successful than he was. Every so often, I would just be like, "Hey Arnold, will come on," and I'm like, "Oh, hey Arnold," and I've seen that episode more than I've seen any other "Hey Arnold" episode because they see because every time I watched it, they would that episode would be there. I would just so happen to watch it at the middle of that rotation of reruns. It was a it had a really somber start too. Like it actually seemed like he'd offed himself, but no, they're not going to go through with that on a kids show. The other one was that that fake Elvis dude split with his like other like, yeah with his, his songwriter. songwriter. Yeah, and then they. Like, I don't need that no good two time and piece of shit. Two timing? He's fucking? been writing songs with Elvis. <laughs> just the way you, you, you described it is like they were fucking, he caught him cheating, and they had to, and he's just, just like, I'm done with you. No, I'm gonna keep battling. We watched a couple episodes because I felt that I gave the show too negative an impression. You were, you see, yeah, you seemed like you hated it. And you, you're, you made me hate it by proxy, but then you're like, well, actually, I liked it. And I'm like, you didn't make it seem like you liked it. And then I describe it watched... as a show with a lot of potential that only reaches that potential on rare occasion. But that's also, yeah. you know, I have high standards. So yeah. if you're just kind of looking for a cozy Ed, Ed and Eddie type cartoon, you can find that more often than not. Which it, which it is. It is a very cozy... Uh, oh, no! I can, I can save this. This is just a straight line. 
See, it looks really complicated, but you just kind of, you follow the arrows and it's, yeah, it's just a straight line. Let's fight. It's just a straight line with like five trainers. I am the king of karate. I've taught my Pokemon use that they'll use in battle with you. <laughs> that seems a bit, um... I want one of these karate dudes to like join his Pokemon in battle. Because I like it's a doubles battle. Does that count as animal cruelty? I don't know. They're not animals, they're monsters. They're, they're, pocket they're monsters, clearly, so. They're supposed to be stronger than humans. Well then then it's it's cruelty to you. <laughs> Can you imagine if, like, if, like, you alter the lore of Pokemon where, like, instead of, like, oh, he captured these because, like, you're actually, like, taming, like, miniature gods and yokai and shit to battle each other, and they're doing it because they, because, like, you, they get something out of it, and you're actually just catering to their whims. Yeah. Or some shit. Well, that's kind of what it seemed like at first, but then they keep contradicting that, so I don't know what the... It's almost like they don't care that, that deeply about the lore of the series. That'd be an interesting, like, uh, like, you do a different, like, uh, monster, like, mon genre, but, like, it's, it, but, like, you're just getting favor from, like, these, like, minor, like, monstrous, like, deities to, like, fight for you. I th it's not quite that, but I think the premise of Zatch Bell was something along those lines, where oh, it, it was, like, a bunch of demons had, had were fighting but they had to work with humans in order to, like, legally be part of their demon tournament. Oh. Or something like that. Oh, actually, you know you know what does do that? Like, what I say? What? SMT, SMT does that. Uh, Shin, Shin Megami Tensei does that. Or, you, like, you get, getting you, the favor of your of your gods or whatever? Well, no, you get you get you talk to demons, and you, like, convince them to join you, and then they can join you, and you can fuse them with other demons to create, like, better demons and shit. Dragon Quest is doing that. They're doing mons? Yeah, they have a good, they got a mon spin-off game. Yeah, they Dragon Quest really Monsters. Do Pokemon fusions, except for that one fan game. Oh my god, we're almost done with this game. I it doesn't feel like it feels like we're just like five minutes in. I know, it feels like like we haven't all we've seen of this region is there was a city, uh there was a bridge, there was a cave. That's about all I remember. I am. What TM did I just get? You got ATM. I, I gotta pay attention to the numbers because it doesn't match the text that he says. Yeah. This is the worst puzzle. Uh. Left okay, down. I get it. I got it. Took me a sec. All right, we're at the. No, I'm gonna save it. I'm just gonna go for it. I think I can beat him because I've still got Flare Blitz for like the really bullshit stuff. And I also got like a bunch of different types that are strong against them, just in case. Yeah. Secret power. How strong is Cut? Cut's one twenty. Um, Secret power is stronger. You appear ready to face a gym leader, then. Bring it. What are you? I want a gym that's run by a slow king. I want just a fucking Pokemon to be a gym leader. Or even just one to be an NPC, because obviously a couple of them can talk. Yeah. There's a, I don't know if you've seen it, uh, a Ranguru is like a Gen 7 psychic orangutan Pokemon who has, uh, like, seen giving orders to other Pokemon. Oh, so he's he's the ringleader Pokemon. Nice. Alright, what are you sending out? Bear Tick! Okay, that's the evolution. I'll keep battling. Level 39. Alright, I guess I'm gonna go all out. Flare Blitz! What are we watching that we keep making comparisons to, like, the, the, the Mafia? Uh, there's execution and bleach, but I feel like I'm thinking of something else. Probably thinking of something else. Um, 
My hero, no. There's no mafia there yet. According to you, there's a mafia. I'm excited, Eventually. I'm excited about that. Which we thought about. It. It's kind of surprising you don't see, like, supervillain mafias more often in superhero-themed stuff. Because they're subtle. It's you heavy. either have, like, regular human no-powers mafia operating under the radar, or you have big, brazen Legion of Doom shit, and there's no in-between. Uh-oh. It's probably going to be a double knockout. Oh, this is definitely going to be a double knockout. I, maybe it doesn't have a lot of HP. Because that's what recoil is based on. Well, we'll see. I've survived. Musashi, hey. about to evolve. But you can't evolve mid-battle. That's cheating. <laughs> um, wait, you know Encore? That actually seems like that'd be really useful. Get rid of play Scald, a Rock Smash. Uh, I'll replace Scald. Fuck it. Are you being attacked by ninjas? Well, uh, ninjas are back. Uzashi is evolving! Into his final form. We need a so Pokemon we... with a Bodor. Is this the final evolution? Yeah. Are you Damn. disappointed? Yeah, I was hoping he'd like have like full on armor. Oh, Slash? Fuck yeah! Uh, he's got sword-themed moves, but he doesn't really look like a swordsman, because he's quadrupedal. Alright, uh... Fuck it, I'm replacing Rock Smash with Slash. Higher crit chance! Did you know there's a Pokemon move called Secret Sword? <laughs> Don't tell anyone, Shit. it's a secret. It's a secret. I remember we saw that, like, her call, like, uh, Satsuki, Kiryu, and call that, call her sword that, and I'm like, well, it's very obviously a sword, what are you talking about? Frost Breath for me. I don't think anybody will use it. I think that always, yeah, it always critical hits. Okay. So it's 60 power, which means it's always 120 power and pierces defense. Which is pretty good. It's just a wonder... special type ice move. Yeah, I wonder if Uzashi can burn it. I've been talking with Bianca and I'm wondering... Could, would you be the best man at our wedding? Has something about me changed? Like, what... what do I, I want to do? What... Should I do? There was nothing. Have I really become stronger? Is it just my Pokemon? I don't know anymore. Well, you know what's important, Sasuke? The important thing is that you're talking about your feelings with us, and I appreciate that. Who am I? What is my true purpose? Maria. Who are you? Us? I'm Bianca, this is Sharon. I know you're I know there. You why don't you show yourselves? Then suddenly ninjas. The Shadow Triad are beings of the shadows and not easily noticed. But what do you mean you're beings of the shadow? How do you have superpowers? Humans aren't supposed to have super- Well, they're psychics, but other than them- Also, people who use aura and therefore can learn a Pokemon moves, I guess. Is that a thing? I don't know. I think one fanfiction used it. There's a crossover between, like, Pokemon and Ruby. Yeah. Ruby's still amazingly popular, despite the fact that a lot of people agree that the writing kind of sucks. It had an official crossover with DC Comics, and that's fucking mind-blowing. Oh, me. yeah, I saw that! <laughs> and at the at Batman's butler gets, like, a Ruby power, and he can just spawn items into reality. God, I kind of want to watch that, but I, but I don't know how far it is. In, well, we're That's not going to watch Ruby. Oh, it's a comic? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to read it then. Our Lord Inn awaits you. Our mission is complete. 
If you're here for a gym challenge, hang on for a bit. Gotta head to Dragon's Mouth. I'm going too. So what are you gonna do, Bianca? Are you gonna come too, or are you gonna just uh, hang back? Whoa! What should I do? I'm heading north. I'm gonna heal first. I wish beating gyms would automatically heal you, but... I wish completing a battle would automatically heal you. I don't <laughs> feel that just, like, not being at full health adds anything to the game. There's just, uh, there's a series of RPGs made by this, uh, one company. It's not, like, they're not all related, but they all use, like, kind of the same, like, engine and battle system. Yeah. It was the guys who were behind Cthulhu Saves the World, and, uh... And in that game, in that game, every time you do like an RPG encounter and you win it, your health gets uh, restored and some of your MP gets restored. Yeah. So that's nice. Yeah, that's I like that mechanic. That's like a good middle ground attempt. Uh, it also makes means that sometimes you gotta like go back on your expeditions, and um, I think Persona. They have a similar thing where it's easier to restore your health than it is to restore your uh, your MP. I think that's a good middle ground than just like than just getting a, a full refill after every battle. Yeah. I think I like just having a full refill because then you can make the individual battles all challenging in their own ways. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm. Thanks, Professor Juniper. I go, got to go on a journey and start figuring out possibilities for my life. See that video about, like, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Dueling Academy from Solid JJ? Uh, about, like, I have no other career path except to become a duelist? Yeah, that, that one. Yeah. There's always community college. Is that right? Grand. Grand, grand. We should chat later. Here's the situation. Some Team Plasma dudes, bunch of them, broke through the tower wall and went inside. Okay, so we couldn't uh, go in. Bryce and the young man, I Bryce and that young man, I believe, is Sharon. The two of them went after Team Plasma, but what's the Dragon Spiral Tower? I guess you'd be curious. Well, I'll explain explain briefly. It's uh, stood tall since long before Nova was founded. Top floor legendary dragon type Pokemon waits for a person pursuing ideals to appear. So we're gonna capture the dragon, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna. It feels like there's not a whole lot going on in this game. Like there's no stakes. Yeah. The stakes have never been lower. Team Plasma is like, what are they doing? They're going after a vague dragon or something. Yeah. Old Gate Tau. It's a glorified full heal. Oh, I remember. Okay, I know one thing about this game, and that was uh, that the uh, translator of the game used to post on the something awful forums. Yeah. Um. So. Good old knob. Yeah. So he. So when they got to this point, he's like, he was the one. He was the one who like did the trans, the localization for the and translation for this game, and he pushed for the pun for Old Gate Tau. He's like. He's like, we need to have this in here. It'd be what's what's great. the pun? Uh, like old Jay Tao. Yeah. Yeah, there's a pun on that. Old Gay Tao. Oh, okay. I'm sure there's like a like. It, it um, did uh, first appear in a place called Old Chateau. Yeah. So. Uh, so that was the same guy who also pushed for that for that. Uh, other uh, reference the you know the what the trainer after you beat him he's like i painted a picture it's called my pokemon is fight yeah it was based off of a book by uh, another something awful user called my tank is fight and then uh this goes deeper like uh you know uh you've seen playthroughs of uh of new vegas right uh no okay so if you turn on wild wasteland in new vegas which t basically makes like references and stuff uh, and, like, turns on the silliness switch, basically. If you go up to, like, a certain point early on in the game, you'll see, like, a dude with, like, uh, like five aces on a table, like an old, like, a corpse with five aces on the table, and then, like, four balls at the edge of a cliff. That was a reference to a failed goon project called Zyborn Clock, yeah. which was on the Something Awful forums. 
At some point, everybody went there. Now nobody goes there. It's kind of sad, but at the same time, not. It's, it's you know, it is what it is. I kind of want to catch a Moltres, but I also kind of don't want to bother catching a Moltres. Isn't that, like, the weakest of the birds? Uh, no, or... I mean, they all have the same stat total. And their stats oh. could be anything in my version. Okay, and to the temp, and to the tower of, of time. How long have I been going for? Uh, hour 40. Oh, it God. feels like so much longer because so much of it was that stupid cave. Into the cave. Feel the healing energy all around you. So what what team what what Pokemon type do they mainly uh, spawn? Team Plasma. What where do they spec into? Uh, I don't know. Generic like goon Pokemon. Probably oh a lot God. of those bats. Uh, Patrats. Okay, you know what? This feels similar to the uh, the Rayquaza Tower. I can't wait till TMs can be multi-use, or are they multi-use now? I they are. I, I think. Okay. All right. For the uh, the Ho Oh Tower. Oh, Musashi's not able to learn Frost Breath. Oh well. Better add an Ice type to your team. Have you learned the glory of the Ice type? <laughs> That's, is that all, is that more or less pathetic than somebody going like I fucking love bug type? Wait, what? You're not gonna do anything? Jim uh, leader yeah. run up the tower. You're lucky. My you witness... might witness a legend. I'm not gonna stop you. Like, what are you trying to do exactly? Should I care? We're gonna summon a dragon. Oh no. All right, there's lots of dragons. Summon? I think there's a wild dragon in this tower. What are you? Uh, that 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 that's a Wusha ferret. Nice, you're mine now. Slash. I think it's actually. I think it's a special attack fighting type. I think it looks like focus blast and things. Well, with Wusha, yeah, that makes sense. You're mine now, Ultra Ball. It evolves into a very Master Asia-looking motherfucker. Oh, really? Okay. Dominate with onslaughts of flowing, continuous attacks. Cool. I might, I might spec into this dude. Might, might replace uh, Girder because I used Girder when we were doing uh, Scarlet, uh, not Scarlet, but uh, Sword Shield. What was the other dude in that movie, Master Wu? Yeah, that's the one who do, did the energy absorption and sucked the energy out of people. He was the one who was hung up on the chains, and I and I, I thought at the time when I watched it that he convinced the rats to give him water. <laughs> the animals, they give me water. <laughs> like a rat just holding like a little leaf like it's a fucking Disney film. Just, it just makes as much it. sense as the alternative. <laughs> then what... <laughs> What 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 alternative? I, like he sucks the juices out of rats. Hello. I'm drinking water. Sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, talking about rats giving uh, them giving um uh, gotcha old thirsty. danger old martial art. Yeah, it makes me want some. Uh. Swordsman 2, by the way. Anyone who cares. That's a g great movie. Oh, you're, you're one letter short for the space. Yeah. Dongfang Bubai is also is also way too long. Invincible Dawn is way too long. Hey, we got a follower! Thank Woo! you for the follow, Bean Crusader. Thank you. Thank you. 420. Gotta say the 420 part. Awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna do Master Wu.
I feel I, the, the girder is probably closer to Master Wu. You know what? No spaces then. Master Asia, also the name of a Gundam character. Yeah, uh, looks more manly than uh, than the Master Asia from Swordsman 2. He, he looks again, like a I'm combination sure... between the Swordsman 2 ones. Yeah, Master Asia from uh, from Swordsman 2, aka Dong Fane Bubai or Invincible Dawn, uh, wanted like more power. He wanted to master like the ancient scroll of uh, uh, like uh, that that would cause him. Like to have like ultra ultimate power, but there's only so, one way to get ultimate power, according to yeah. said scroll. Yeah, you have to sacrifice something of yourself, something very uh, like important. Like, well, I guess in in, in like uh, it's relevant depending important. on who's you at who you ask. Yeah, but just just I'll let you know that like that like once you lose it, you can't get it back. You gotta castrate yourself. That is what I'm saying. In a day in in an era before. Anesthesia. Maybe, maybe, he did, maybe they did the uh, like the, the the eye pluck from uh, from Kill Bill, but like on uh, on his yeah. genitals. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe it's like a more spiritual thing. He just willed them to go away. He like sure. said, "Okay, I I accept," and then and he, he just shriveled fingers. up and disappeared. There's another thing. Is it just like a style that can only be learned by men, but? Like, but because the prerequisite, it has to be castration, or can it just be learned by women? Because it's like, well, you don't have the, the equipment, so fuck it. <laughs> you just... This is the import, important swordsman universe lore that we're never going to get. This is the kind of shit that I think about, but that uh, that that just causes me to think about this kind of thing. Like, like those people in uh, in Gremlins Two, where it's like, hey, what if you take a? a if it's always midnight somewhere. How far past midnight do uh do do they have to eat? Can they eat at one o'clock and on? If you if you go take a mo if you take one of, of the mog the uh Nagwai and you go across time zones to a time which, that's before midnight, is it then okay? And, and I'm just like those are the real and then and then a gremlin kills them for asking too many questions. Okay, but what if Ranma as a girl gets pregnant and then turns back into a boy? I don't want to think about that, and neither should you. Oh, that was a golem! I, I wanted one! Damn it! Come back! There, there'll there be more. You got plenty of tower left. Look at him. Look at him doing his muscle pose. Shit, I'm just gonna body him every single time. Oh no, this raccoon's a ghost. Oh, shit. Ghost raccoon. It's a ground ghost? Oh, I can't do anything to it. Ground ghost? It's the, it's the dust ghost. I am the dust ghost! Return to slab! I wonder how much better Danny Phantom would have been if Butch Hartman was not involved. Um, I wonder if he was a net positive on that, just that basic premise. Uh, I don't know. Like, yeah, Butch Hartman kind of sucks shit now, right? Yeah. Was he always good or was he always bad? Fairly odd wanna... parents, in my opinion, really doesn't hold up. It, it's a very, like... Very goofy, very groaner, very written for kids show. Danny Phantom was not that bad by comparison. It still it still had moments like that though. Okay, that was too strong for him. Uh God damn it. I don't have Get Clank. You're up. He's a, he's also not like the worst person to live. He, he's not Mike Love. He he just sucks a little bit of shit. <laughs> he uh his he has a reputation now for uh like ha having a very boring art style, just kind of doing everything in the in the fairly odd parent style, and oh. when he gets commissions, he has been found to have, like traced characters. Ah, damn. So a, a, a little shit, but not that bad. Kind of fuck with the formula. 
<laughs> I guess. There was uh, the most recent Did You Know Gaming. Uh, pe pe speaking of people who suck a little bit of shit, the most recent oh, yeah. Did You Know Gaming was a uh, Sonic thing about why there was only ever one Sonic RPG and why it was pretty oh, much yeah, entirely because one. of Ken Penders. Wait, Ken Penders? So uh, a lot of the plot points oh, and he, characters in the Sonic RPG shared similarities with the stuff that Ken did in the comics. <laughs> which, which led to a lawsuit, which led to them not doing any more RPG stuff. That... Oh, God. Ken Penders is the Mike Love of comics, I think. Yeah. Like, dude... Well, no, you know what? He had more talent than, than Mike Love. I'm gonna say that. He's a guy yeah. in a weird situation just because, you know, it's, it, it's Sonic comics, but... It's not completely not understandable. That he would feel he owns like his 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 work, even if it's in another franchise. I don't know. It's a I gray mean, area. He's the guy. He's the guy who's like who's like trying to break that unwritten rule. Go it. Um. I get where he's coming from, but were I in his position, I probably would not have fought about it as hard as he does. No. Because there, there's, I guess, uh, I, I, and from my perspective, that's not a hill I want to die on. Yeah. If, if they were fucking with my money, yeah, that that would be one thing. But if it was just like about like character ownership in another franchise, like the fuck am I gonna do with these characters? They're kind of tied to the Sonic universe, I don't, and other people really like them. I'm not gonna poison that well for anybody else just for my own ego. That's just how I feel. Yeah, I don't have a I don't have a good name for this. Uh, for this character. What, what is it? The guy, the golem? Go, Golet, yeah. Uh, Are there any, like, little robot dudes? He, he evolves into, like, a big, like, rocket golem dude. Okay, I got it. It's gonna be all caps, too. Big O! Showtime! Cast in the name of Arceus! Ye not guilty! The evolution is absolutely the most big O Pokemon. Yeah. Maybe that one, that one Ultra Beast, the the, the rocket one, maybe that's a oh, competition. Yeah. No, that's that's a fucking sp full-on spaceship. <laughs> we have a spaceship Pokemon or we have a skyscraper Pokemon. Yeah. We need we need a po we need an internet Pokemon. Oh, that's Porygon. Porygon. No, that's computer. Because I guess this, called... man. Okay, so we have Porygon, who is the, the first virtual Pokemon. Porygon 2, who is like the more polished virtual Pokemon. Porizon, Porygon Z, who is like the fucked up glitch virtual Pokemon. We need like a, a network Pokemon. It's like Porygon, but he looks all Eldritch Abomination because he exists everywhere at once. Por Porygon... Porygon... <laughs> Porygon Legion. Yeah. <laughs> That's his mega form. Or uh, his Gigantamax. Porygon Network? I, I don't know. Stardust. Okay. Truly we were, the Stardust Crusaders. What is this, some, some sort of bizarre adventure? They dropped that line in the PS3 game. <laughs> Speedwagon's like, this sure was a bizarre adventure! <laughs> And Joel just uh, fucking groaned. <laughs> he, he was making jokes about, uh, uh, like, uh, look at all the, the stupid title drops that we could do. And, like, what's the worst title drop that anyone's ever done? And then the game ended with a bunch of title drops for each part of JoJo. <laughs> I was uh, I was watching Grimbeard, who's another, like, really good, uh, like, video game, like, long-form content dude. He was talking about this uh, obscure Korean survival horror game on the PS2 called Mystic Knights. Yeah. And, uh, and at the, it was hard translated. It was never translated in English. Somebody else translated it. And at the very end, it, at the very end of the game, the, the protagonist says, I'll never forget this Mystic Knight. And then the translators of the comic scene confirmed, yeah, I just added it for the memes. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 so 
So did I ever talk about that game before? I, I don't saw think it. So. I, so that was the one where the the villains, the, the monsters of that game, are like these weird, like fucked up, like biomechanical tables and like motorcycle looking things and stuff. And then at one point, the main characters like go on. I was like, were you chased by those monsters? And one of the characters like, huh? You mean those vampires? Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, what? Those monsters? He goes, yes, they're vampires. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> it's like if you were if you were being attacked by uh, by like some kind of like multi armed fleshy beast like just made out of teeth, right? You're just running and you're like that creature's after me. The guy goes, oh, you mean that werewolf? Yeah. I'm like motherfucker. I don't know. That thing's terrifying. It's a monster, but don't you dare call it a fucking werewolf. That was not a fucking werewolf. Oh, um, oh, I'm sorry. I must be interrupting something. Okay, cool. We'll hold them here. You go on ahead. What are you doing? This is nothing, but there sure are a lot of them. Yep, the, look at all this battling that's happening. I wish there's no Pokemon that are out here, so... Look at this there's dynamic there's... scene that's going on. So... Is there, is there a bat? I guess we'll just leave. Yeah, I guess I'll go south. Alright, can I battle these two up here? No, they just like, hey, what's up? There's nothing you can do. It's alright, but I have to lose at least two gym leader. Are you resetting? Oh yeah, because you're you're doing randomizers. It's well, no, I just, I, I, I didn't want to redo, I didn't want to rewalk a map that I didn't need to rewalk. I jumped off a ledge I shouldn't have jumped off. Okay, uh... Okay, Uzashi, you're ready. Slash him to death. What were you just talking about? I, I don't know. Uh, I was talking about Mystic Knights. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, also, there's like biomechanical weapons that level up when you use them more. Because they're because they're made out of like some different material. I don't know that. Oh, by the way, that that, that game had a multiplayer mode. Yeah. And it was, and arguably that was the only part where it's ahead of its time, but we didn't ever get to see, like, how it worked. Well, that's not good. So, um... So, it was a game type where uh, all of them are, like, you're trying to go through, like, the end of the dungeon. You gotta work together to, like, fight the monster and stuff. But there's a twist. One of you is an imposter. A, a monster among, like, us. I like, see. Uh, other characters. Yeah, it was a social deduction game before social deduction games were like a main thing. Head of its time. That's pretty interesting, I want to say. Oh, uh, you're talking about the werewolf thing. You ever notice <laughs> how it's like an unspoken rule in any zombie fiction that whenever zombie apocalypse happens, the concept of zombies is totally novel to everyone? Yeah, because they didn't... Like, no one there's... looks at it and says, Oh my god, it's a zombie apocalypse. They say, what are these creatures? Why are they acting this way? This is totally new. There is a couple of times where it's like... Where, well, it's either that or somebody's like, Oh, these zombies, and they're like, No, don't call them zombies. We're not living in that timeline. This is... They're walkers. That's... Well, because they don't want to actually deal with the fact that... Uh, I think... That was a thing. I don't know if they ever talked about, like, this happened to us this time in World War Z. Um, they just called him, like, Zack. Yeah. Or, like, Zed. Or Zed Head. Stuff like that. I like that. how this thing just, like, flew up and slammed me into the ground and it did nothing. Is that all you got? Alright. You, you seem to be hurting. Have a soda. So I assume Gato, Gato is a food. Gato is a pun, because old chat, I think so. Oh no, I accidentally used two sodas on it. You thirsty bastard. <laughs> Whatever. Let's save. Gato. Old Chateau. Well, I know what a, what a Chateau is. A, the a rich of... cake, typically one containing layers of cream or fruit. 
Oh yeah, like cho uh, chocolate gateau. Yeah. I gotta fight the elite four of people who suck shit. Dark type. Musashi's getting a lot of use. Well, I, he's kind of behind. Oh, I should have grabbed a fighting type. Oh, well. I still can. Whatever. Slash him! How do you evolve uh, into, uh, something into a Gilead again? Uh, it has to be a male Curlia, and you use a Dawnstone, I think. Oh. Alright, one, two... It's weird, because canonically, only Gallade can only be male, but Gardevoir can be anything. Can't... It? It's a weird species where transgender only works one way. It's the same with, uh, Frostlass and Snorunt. Because all ah. Frostlass have to be female. Must be how like do how like genetics and works in in Pokemon. You know, you have to be a male in order to sac to you know castrate yourself for ultimate pow power. There's no other <laughs> way. <laughs> Gallade are all male, but they're also all castrated. Wait, so so the so the ones that uh, that are like uh, male Gardevoir, those are the ones that actually can breed. Yeah. What, is that true? Can you? Uh, how no, did, no, you can actually okay. you can breed Gallade. So that's not true. That, okay, and you get to. I but mean, Pokemon so, don't need balls to breed. They just need magic and privacy. No one has ever seen a Pokemon egg laid. I totally fuck. <laughs> I mean, like, how else does it work? Yeah. It does it. <laughs> I'm still convinced that's just the that's just the in the nursery people just telling you that every game because oh, like he's the, a kid I can't tell them that they fuck. It's the storks. This kid's ten. Yes, the the stork delivers Pokemon eggs. Although it is strange that all Pokemon come out of eggs. Some of them with like children already inside it. It's weird. Yeah. Pokemon's weird. All you need is a ditto. That's correct. If you have a Ditto, then you can spawn a Kangaskhan that already has a baby inside it. It's born pregnant. Figure that I'm, out. I'm just, I just... Well, like triples. Eh. Uh, so... Or Tandemouse that is born with two of them. Which then fuck and have two more kids as an evolution. Eh? This is like... This is like it's like somebody brings this Pokemon to a professor. It goes, it goes, Professor, I've discovered a Pokemon that is immune to incest. Impossible! Gary, you're, you're full of shit! <laughs> Just look! And you go, oh. Tandem mouse. How <laughs> does. Uh, the, 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 one of the professors is like the professor of Pokemon breeding. How does how does he not study this shit? I think it's Elm and Johto? It's just, they're just not sharing it with kids who obviously know better about eh? like how biology works. God. Professor Elm, we exist in the age of the internet. I knew all of this, like, five years ago. Well, no, it's... Oh, man, we can't trust adults. Kids are trusted to, to, like, capture gods and do battle with them, but not to know about fucking. Uh... Wow, this this looks, uh, very, uh... Like a, like a battle I could go for just one side. That's gonna be one quarter effective. Oh yeah, shit. This was a bad idea. How did that thing spook your crocodile? How does that work? Yeah. Well, he hit him, and then it did nothing, and that's spooky enough as it is. Um, it's fighting dark, right? Yeah. Uh, Psychic oh. will not hit it because it's dark. God damn it! <laughs>
Well, I, I did the right move. It's not very effective. Which means that next is going to do a dark move on me. Which is, I can intercept that with uh, Clank. What the? Is that a cat? Yes. I'm just looking at yours. It's a legendary white dragon cat. Well, dra cats are basically dragons. Yeah. Same thing. We are! This is the fucking end game. Do you think it would feel like we were progressing more if we didn't spend so long between streams? I get that I feeling know. about Twilight Princess. I don't think this game would feel like that. It, it just kind of feels like walking down a hallway for the whole game. This is a walking simulator with occasional combat. I'm, I, this is not working out. Nothing is working. Oh, it's dark, right? Okay, I'll just use Buggy. Master Wu. Ah, Rock Helmet, fuck off. I'll... You want to chip away? I'll chip away. Oh, God. I got my shit wrecked by a goddamn Scraggy. That's embarrassing. It's like that dude in Baki who just... He had no, like, special abilities or technique. He was just a thug motherfucker who kept his hands in his pocket and kicked the shit out of people. <laughs> Wait, uh, who was it that was, uh... In the tournament. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> was that, uh, before the, uh... It was before the the Killers arc. Oh, yeah, that one. The... Yeah, that was... That was crazy. And that was the same... I, I, I had trouble remembering that. I remember the guy who punched his ghost dad. That did happen. <laughs> that was a dude who was randomly just followed around by his, his boxer ghost dad. He would tell him stuff. And then, uh, there was that one... episode. What was it? That... There's a lot of crazy shit that happens in Baki. But it doesn't really, like, fully highlight the crazy shit until the Netflix series. But the Netflix series goes all in, and I think arguably it's a better show because of that. Because otherwise, it was just like a like a regular anime show with occasional crazy shit. Like, I feel it, like they kind of tried to tone down the crazy shit to make it more palatable in the 2003 anime or whatever. Yeah, and which uh, kind of worked did... against it. Yeah, it worked. It's still a, then... it's still a fine show. It just made it more average. Yeah, still some good fight scenes in it. The characters were good, and then Baki. <laughs> Then Baki was like, hey, you know what would be cool? Let's just have... Let's just have one of the characters fight another one of the characters in a phone booth. And every day, just has the phone booth just go playing it across. Okay, we need to elaborate on that. Because it's not just like they happen to fight in a phone booth. No. One of the dudes okay. walked into a phone booth. Phone Shorsky. booth. Shorsky. Shorsky, okay. The, uh, and then the second dude walks up to the scene, sees Jack him in a phone booth... That was Jack. That was uh, Baki's brother. Okay, yeah. It, it do, doesn't man. matter who it is. Jack walks up and sees the dude in the phone booth, looks at him, and then calmly walks into the phone booth with another tiny bystander guy between them, closes the door, and then <laughs> they resume fighting. <laughs> and, then, and, then, uh, and then after he, like, beats the shit out of him, he throws him in the arena, and it's just three of them, like, te teaming. It was him... It was some other guy whose name I can't, whose name escapes me, and it was fucking Gaia, the, the infamous. Nobody could kill him, not even a nuke. <laughs> Which still keeps the... you up to this day. That line. <laughs> it's it's just an insane thing to say about somebody. Because it's and not the... it, it, this dude had the reputation of being like the second most powerful dude in the world, and he's like <laughs> the second opponent Baki faces. Yeah. And he's kind of, like, not shit? What do you I, mean he can survive a nuke? <laughs> Are you speaking from... Just that, that... We dropped a nuke on him and he didn't die! How far away was the nuke from him? Was it, it's like his fucking, like, solid snake situ- or, a uh, naked snake situation where he just happened to be kind of, sort of, in the vicinity? Was he, he like, gained, like, miles away from the nuke? Was the nuke a dud and it didn't go off? 
I, I, was it I said? I said that the nuke was a gun and it hit him full on, but he caught it and he tossed it to the side yeah. when they dropped it on him. The sheer power of his charisma disabled the nuke. But I, I love Baki just because uh, just how insane it gets. It just, I respect, I like it and I respect it for just how, how crazy the authors are willing to go, hey, I, I know we could do like an elaborate plot about like about like meaning of power and like and like this and like how, what strength really means, but but what if Yujiro just fights a big ass elephant, like the biggest elephant? And he just beats it. That that scene where uh, y Yujiro and his uh, his his friend, I guess are, like, walking through a museum, and the dude just, like, keeps asking Yujiro, hey, hey, could you take this dinosaur? What about this and, one? Could and you and fight and a T-Rex? And Yujiro's like, shut the fuck up! <laughs> oh, I can't. Okay, just foul play then. Anyway, the place you found Stunfisk has, like, ancient fossils in my version. Oh, yeah? I just ran into a fucking dinosaur. Dinosaur in the swamp. Swamp dino. Two of them, in fact. That's weirdly consistent. Is this a dedicated fossil puddle? <laughs> Just... I mentioned that uh, there do apparently exist randomizers for generations past five. Different randomizers. So, uh... Here, I could do this forever. If, uh... If I'm able to run two instances of a 3DS emulator, then yeah, I could... I do the next gen like this and probably tone it down even further. Yeah. I think Sun Moon seems like a game that's going to be uh, way more chill than than this, than like Black White 2. Oh, yeah. They, gen they, gen 6, I feel, is pretty, is just like short. And then Sun Moon is one of the more fun generations. Yeah. That's when they decide, that's when they do away with a lot of like the old, uh, like, uh, as normal type, right? Yeah. Perfect. It also has the most, like, Pokemon in it of any generation, so I can oh, just cool. randomize the Pokemon encounters in that one, and just I'll have everything. Cool. Yes! You leveled up, Buggy. When are you gonna grow into your, like, dual... The only oh, real sure. problem with, with Sun Moon that... I mean, I think... People have gotten harder on the on the generation since it came out. I hear a lot more oh, negative really? things about it. That tends to happen with a lot of generations. So. But uh, oh no, it traced my Wonder Guard. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. The only thing I really think is a problem with uh, Gen Seven is that there's a lot of hand holding in tutorials. So like we're gonna oh. have to go through a lot of text boxes early on. That's fine. It's just I can just ignore that. Korok, Korok. That's... It's a Korok! That's... What type is that again? That's, uh, Ground Dark. It's your crocodile. Oh, okay, yeah, you're right. Ground Dark. Fighting! Be, uh... A Crocodile brand coffee. Uh, Ground Dark Roast. That would be... Alright, wake up. Wow. You think we call it when you get to the top of the tower? Yeah, I, uh, I think I'll call it. Just... Uh, it's surprising. How hot is it up there? Or down there? Uh, 79 right now. Okay. It feels hotter up here, then. Why is it hotter up here? It's usually cooler up here. I don't know. A room can heat up. A room can heat up fast. It's like, do you got your window open? Yeah, I do. Uh, it's 73 up here. Yeah, I got my computer running and the monitor's on and shit, so it's probably not helping. I'm just sweating because I'm drinking a lot of water. Oh, no! Is this a fucking puzzle? It's not a puzzle. It's just a, a circular maze, but it, it's shorter than it looks.
One puzzle, please. Have you seen the Monty Python sketch where the dude goes into, like, the argument center? You're yes, like, I have. Argument, please. And, and all, the, all he's doing is just, uh, is just saying, like, like the opposite of uh, of what the other guy's doing is like. Well, that's not an argument. Like an that's argument. a contradiction. That's that's no, not. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. <laughs> no, it isn't. So you're just doing it. No, I'm not. And then he like it hasn't. Been... No, it hasn't been this minute. I sir, I can't argue with you unless unless you've paid. Well, okay. Here's some money. All right, you can argue. I said I can't argue with you. I paid you. No, you haven't. I can see why people would want to want to willingly like uh, do an argument, though. I people d people do, like they're just yeah. bored and they go to argue with people online. It's baffling to me. It's exhilarating. If you just it, you got to feel something. It's like a verbal fight club, yeah. argument club. <laughs> First rule of argument club is you do not talk about argument club. The second rule of argument club is you do not talk about argument club. Only two, only two pr people to an argument. Only one argument at a time. Arguments will go on as long as they have to. This is your first night at Argument Club. You have to argue. <laughs> it's shocking. Thank you, James Bond. <laughs> Bringing it all back. I bet someone just oh. got murdered by the electric dragon. Okay, uh... If, dude, that sounds like an SCP. Just somebody gets infected with a, with like a, a mimetic, like a, a, like a meme, that uh, whenever somebody dies, you make a pun based off of how they die. Like it, it can be real or fake or whatever. And it just causes all kinds of social problems for that person's life. <laughs> Goku like like uh, sees Frieza get bisected with his uh, with his own disc. He's like, huh. I guess oh. he had to split. What the fuck? <laughs> and then, uh... James Bond... James Bond's a complete asshole. He's just... He sleeps with all these women, doesn't even call them back. Probably does it without a condom, too. Yeah. Oh, no. Is this a, is this a mini-boss? When did you last save? I say pretty. I say pretty often. I think I can. These guys are. These guys ain't shit. I can beat them. What four jabronis? Is it four with six each? I'm mean, gonna have to fight like. Uh, no, they don't have six. Fucking imagine. <laughs> Twenty-four Pokemon Gauntlet. That would be rough. <clears throat> I, I, I checked. I apparently got twenty revives. I think I'm good. Did you add those, or, or are they no. always there? No, I didn't okay. add anything. I don't know where you would have gotten them. I bought them. What a derpy looking Pokemon. What, Watchdog? No, Lady Ba. Uh. Super Fang sucks. It uh, always deals half of your HP. I know. That's why oh, it sucks. Oh, it sucks to deal with. Yeah. The uh, le the legendaries in Scarlet Violet have a su has have Super Fang. All four of them. It's <laughs> their signature move. That's that is evil. I like it. Hey, buggy, let's go. And I can't wait to see Girder here in live action. Oh, I used Rock Slide by accident. Fuck. Well, maybe he'll flinch him. Yes! Okay, cool. Wake up, Slap. Level 38. You're catching up. The Dawn of Unova. Okay. Next.
This is that uh, on it fight against those five cops and then the, and then the lieutenant. Yeah. Oh, so he's only got one. Oh, he's just got the fucking crocodile. Okay. I just, it, it occurs to me this this generation is kind of before they started introducing gimmicks. Like the next gen is when uh, Mega Evolution starts. Yeah, they they realize they're running out of ideas, so they're just like, let's just fucking add more. After that is Z moves, and then was Gen 8 was Gigantamax. Hey, Muzachi's coming up next. He's at a higher level than them. I'm gonna crunch you! Yep! High defense! Fuck off! Slash. Oh, you're using swagger on me? God damn it. Confusion. Should use Aqua Jet. Damn it! I hate no items. You can't use items. But what if I switch out? Oh, I don't. Oh man, all my all my Pokemon are getting their shit wrecked. This dude just said I'm a trainer trainer first and a doctor second. That's a terrible philosophy. I value my Pokemon more than I value my patients' lives. Hey, sir, I know you're in the middle of surgery, but, uh... How about a quickie battle? Okay, he's just gonna miss, and then... Free hit! We're still in the, uh, final arc of, uh, Bleach. Well, the final arc of the original anime, the Fullbringer arc. Yeah, And it's really uh... driving home just what a boring main character Ichigo is. Ichigo is the least interesting character in uh, in his own series, and that's not good for Ichigo. It's not he's even just... that he's like, uh, he's just kind of a straight man, like Tien or like the tail guy in My Hero Academia. He's like yeah. very one-dimensional and predictable. Yeah. Like, he's, he's He doesn't have the, the same kind of likability as Goku or Luffy with like the idiot trope. Yeah. But he does the thing where he just charges blindly into every conflict. Yeah. And that's like his only plan every time. I'm gonna attack it head on, and if that doesn't work, I'm gonna attack it head on. And even when, like, other characters explain to him, Idiot, you can't attack this head on, he goes, SHUT UP! And attacks it head on and eats shit. And he never fucking learns. Are you gonna attack it head on? Yes! Oh, god damn it, Ichigo. That's how I get stronger! What are you talking about? Sandfish! I wonder how long the Fullbringer arc lasts in the manga. Because the anime it's only like 20 episodes. And even then it feels like it drags on. Yeah, this is... Well, you know, well, it's still better paced than One Piece, okay? Let's just, yeah, no, let's it just is get that. it right there. I just, I just wonder if, like, in the manga, if it was rushed at all. I like, lost. if they were like, this isn't a wrong cars. I I wonder, too. <sighs> Do I have to fight the old man after this? You don't have to fight the old man. Does He's he just here me? to supervise. Oh, God. All right. What am I... Just a watchdog, that's it? Oh, you got hype. You got super fang. Hey, you know what's really interesting? Fighting the same like Mook opponents with the same Mook Pokemon just like twenty times. I already beat your boss. I beat your boss, and then, like, and, like all your villains. Wait, you, you beat every all these other people, including my boss. You, you don't have to say anything else. I just know, I know that they hate me. Put your dukes up. That was, uh, that was Caleb City. Yeah. Good, good content creator. I like his stuff. He just... He plays all his own characters, which is why he's called Caleb City. <laughs> it's just the city of him. Oh, he's gonna block your way. You gotta leave. I 
I don't actually know where I'm going. You have to say it for yourself. Okay. All right, so uh, is there any other battles? Uh, not many, if so. That was probably the final one. Thank God. I'm done. Okay, just in case, I'm going to give... It's just a cutscene at the top. Okay. There's not, like, a final boss. If it's just random battles, I can just smoke ball my way up. Wind bastard. Wind bastard. In. Oh, it's a cutscene. Look, it's 3D. We can do that now. Red Eyes! Black Dragon! Ooh. Did mine have blue eyes? I didn't pay attention. Yours was a cat. Mine was a cat, you're right. What do you think, J. Cool? Uh, it's a drag. It's just generic as shit, actually. How you like the powerful form of the Pokemon who appears before and fights beside the hero that will lead the way to a new world? Uh, is he... It, does he agree to team up with you? Now, z and I will head to the Pokemon League and defeat the champion! This will be the last of the battles that hurt Pokemon for a world for Pokemon alone. It's going to be a reality! Okay, do you have all the badges, though? Wait, where are you going? If you want to stop me, you must become a hero as well. <laughs> but dude, I, I just want to like collect badges <sighs> and and fill so, out my Pokedex. So Jekyll, why'd you join UA? I I have to beat this other guy because he's gonna like just free all the Pokemon. So I have to become a hero in order to stop him. That What's sounds like kind of a long con. What's a Pokemon? Just a fairy tale. They don't exist. <laughs> When Zekrom's counterpart, Rishiram, is is your Rishiram your yeah, version? Okay, recognizes you. You will finally be even, and then you can try to stop us. Well, what will you do? The future that I see is true. You will meet Rishiram, Pokemon with with you believe in you so strongly. Will you be the one who interferes with my formula for changing the world? Uh, do you want <laughs> me to? I'm confused as to what you're after here. <laughs> This dude doesn't actually want to change the world. He just wants a good, like, like a climactic showdown. This is all he dreamed about. When his teachers asked him, hey, what do you want to do when you grow up? He says, I want to be in a climactic showdown. I want to be the Vegeta to someone's Goku. I want to be the, the Bakugo to someone's Izuku. Or... You must search for a serum. Is waiting for you in the form of the light stone. But I'm a Pokemon playing black version. I don't want to. God damn it! I think I had the dark stone. Yeah, it's like a switcheroo. I think so. He had the black one. So you and Pokemon Black catch the white one. <laughs> Figure that Wait. out. You see what flew off just now? How could this happen? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we met like 10 minutes ago. I barely know you. <laughs> How could this happen? <laughs> what? That was that guy in, right? Why was he with the legendary Pokemon? He couldn't really be the hero, could he? Also, did I hear him tell you to search for the other legendary Pokemon? Calm down. First, we go back. We gotta decide what you next and analyze what just happened. Okay. Did we first hear about the legendary Pokemon this stream by that dude who was waiting outside a cave? I don't remember hearing about them before now. I don't know. We might have forgotten. The legendary Dragon type would return now. The guy called in. Like, they've lost every single one and somehow stumbled into victory. He told Jay Cool to look for the other one for some reason, and then he flew away. There are two? Yes, there are. Oh, no. Who is this? Also, why do I need to get the other one? Can't I just, like, go with my team and beat him up? Hey, it's Alder. I recognize him. No time for chit-chat. He's those violent flashes of lightning that shot from the tower. Oh, of course it does. Why yeah. wouldn't it? There's all these Pokemon that have the power to destroy the world, but they 
they they they just manipulate humans to do their bidding instead to fight other Oh, so so they have like a WMD and they're just going to use it to create like a I prefer peace through uh through Pokémon deterrence. It's less just a way shittier version of uh, Schneisel and the Damocles from Code Geass. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna hold the power of nukes over everybody. God. Well, no, they weren't nukes, they were flail weapons. They're totally they different. Get... <laughs> they, so, uh, I was playing, um... I was playing a game, uh, called, uh, Project Wingman, which was, like, a... like an Ace Combat kind of style game. It takes place in a post-apocalyptic world that recovered from its post-apocalypse, and now it's kind of, like, uh, similar. And at one point, like, uh, the the enemy like uh, team, the Federation, they just launched a bunch of... Well, they weren't nukes. They were, like, uh, they were called Cordium-tipped missiles, which created, like, uh, as much devastation as nukes without, like, the uh, nuclear radiation. But the way it worked is that it, it, like, worked off of geothermal energy, and it created, like, a resonance with the Cordium inside, like, a bunch of the hot spots hot spots in like uh in like the ring of fire volcanoes so it created like so they all erupted and it created like a devastating like chain reaction yeah which is you know i would have preferred a nuke at that point so fuck it Did we go into the sewers in this game? I don't remember. Ding! No, I don't think we did. You are a very kind person. Still, I don't know if Pokemon will be able to stand up to it. They will. I, I just, they will. No matter what, as a legendary being, I don't like the idea of taking orders from in, but searching for the dragon, the stone, might not be a bad plan. Okay. What was this ancient mystic prophecy shit? You got your final fantasy in my Pokemon. How about with enough hard work, any Pokemon can take out the legendary dragon? No? I think I understand better, better now. Okay. Okay. Glad you had your, uh... Thanks. I don't know what to do. Are you going to go to the Relic Castle, Jay Cool? This is a game with very indecisive rivals. Yeah. They, they don't really have the conviction of, like, I don't know, Deku, Deku and Bakugo. They, they were very committed. To the point where they got their other classmates to be committed. Dude, okay, I got it. Team 1A, except uh, except they're, uh, they're, in, uh, they're pirates in One Piece. Yeah. Like, they all, and most Deku of them... Bakugo would blow a hole in the ship within three days. They yeah, sink they immediately. Yeah, well, they got the they got the the, the 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 tape dude to like steal it up. Yeah. And you know what? They're, none of them have devil fruits. They all have corks, so they they can all swim. They got an advantage. Okay, sure. Yeah, that works. What'd they be called? And Aizawa would have to be the captain. Yeah. Captain Aizawa, and then his uh, he would just so that his uh, his power neutralizes the effects of devil fruits if only for a short time. Sure. So can Devil Fruit users swim while under his effects? No. Darn. <laughs> oh, that could have been an interesting other application, though. Yeah, it could have, but, uh, you know. So, I already saved, yeah. Alright. I think. Well, we, we, made, we made progress. That's it for today. I still yeah. I don't know where I'm going. I'll probably have to look it up next time. Yeah, tell uh, me too. I'm in the same boat as you are now. They said something about, oh, we're going to Relic Castle. So uh, I went there and there was nothing there. So I, I, I don't know if we find it. another route or something. Route 2, Relic Castle. We'll figure it out. All right. Thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, see you next time. See you next time.